Hey guys, I hope you are fine there. In today's video, I'll walk you through the steps to install the SFTP server on Windows Server 2019. So let's go to my lab. Here's my file server and I want to install SFTP service on this server. The first step, I need to install its feature. To install the feature, we need to right click on Windows button and go to the settings, Windows settings, and then click on apps. Click on manage optional features. Now click on add a feature. Now you have to browse down to select open SSH server. Click on install and wait for some moments. Meanwhile, I'll open the services so I can show you once it will be installed the open SSH server service will be there. I'll keep refreshing. Okay, open SSH, SSH service is showing now. Now we have to configure these two services to start on automatic mode at startup click apply and then start the services go to your ssh server service startup type again automatic apply and click on start button now we have done the step one and step two now we have to configure the root directory for open ssh server by default it's going your operating system partition and then users but i want to make the sftp default path or root path in the e drive like sftp root so i need to point my sftp server by default on this path i'll copy this one and open notepad run as administrator click open and you have to change path for c program data and then SSH once you will be in that directory you need to select all files and here's the file sshd underscore config you need to open that one and now find the key ch root directory this one I'll paste my path new path here and put it on quotes now i have to remove this hash so changes can take effect i'll save it on the same location close it and now go back to your ssh server service and restart it okay it's done now i'll install any ftp client like filezilla Once the download is completed, I'll install this client. Okay, on the fifth part, now we have to create a local user or the domain user uh, to connect the SFTP server. I'll go back to my screen. And now we have to create a new site site manager new site TT lab SFTP server now go to the protocol and select the SFTP I'll mention the local IP address or the host name of the server Port number will be remain 22. Username will be SFTP USR1 and then the password. Click OK. Now let's try to connect that server. and it's connected successfully. 
let me show you the path that we have already set in the server it's e volume and then sftp root and once the user will upload the data it it should be showing here let's try that suppose user is trying to create a new directory here is sftp usr1 data click ok go back to your server and check yes the directory is created here now let's try to upload some file to make sure the user have appropriate permission there I'll go back to my C users and then test user I'll try to find some file from my downloads and let's say if I can let's check if I can upload this setup remote desktop manager file so the way is just simply drag and drop here now you can see on the bottom the file is uploading successfully Go back to your file server and confirm if the data is uploaded there. Yes, the data is uploaded in the server. So I'll also share this document with you uh, in video's description. You will find the URL link of this blog. So it's better to follow the step by step guide so you can get the better idea how the SFTP configured. Thanks for watching.